Danielle. I'm Caitlin. We're our time of the month. We are in a very special location today, if you haven't noticed. We're at the beach. We're at the beach, OTM vacation house. Beach hair, don't care. Pretty much. But we did some makeup. Don't care about a lot, honestly. Right, I'm, yeah, really ha don't have a lot going. No. Um, but yeah, so today we're actually gonna do a what's in my beach bag. What's in my beach bag. And I will say, I think it's smart that we're doing it at the end of the week because this is a true realistic representation mm -hmm. of what's in our bags because we have weeded out all of the junk that you think you need, but you really don't. You really don't need it. We're not showing you alcohol because that's in an entirely different bag altogether. Duh, that's called the cooler. The cooler. We're at the beach, so I wouldn't expect any different. Beer for breakfast. Beer for breakfast. This is my favorite. Mmm. It tastes like I should be drinking it outside. This is the Southern Tier Pumpkin Nitro version. So they mm. came out with a nitro version in a can and that's what we're drinking. It's fantastic. I would expect nothing less from them. Honestly, it's fucking pie in a cup. It's delicious. With liquor, with alcohol. It's truly good. Mm. First things first, what does my beach bag even look like? Well, up until yesterday, it looked different than this. <laughs> I will say you're using a way cuter beach bag than uh, it's this adorable hand made in Morocco. Morocco with leather straps, two sized leather straps. So this one fits on my shoulder. This one I can carry it like a cute little farmer's market basket. It's just this beautiful wicker basket that I can use for pretty much everything in my life. And it's giant. I could put puppies in here. I could put alcohol in here. Could you imagine puppies in there? I could put fresh cut flowers in here, Ooh. vegetables, fruits. You know what you need? You need fresh cut flowers on one end and a baguette puppy. in the other end. And a puppy. And a puppy, okay. <laughs> it almost would fit Barkley. It would, you're right. He'd probably chew through it. But I picked this up yesterday from a local store in Kerala, North Carolina. I forget the name of the store. Ooh, but Me it was too. a home store. And it was on sale for 20% off. It has a beautiful flat bottom, so it stays upright, which is very important mm -hmm. to me. Nice, thank you, that's my beach bag. I fucking love it. I freaking love it. Although Honestly, I liked my old beach bag. I like your old beach bag too, but this is definitely, this is a whole nother level of, this goes with my vibe. That's like beach fancy. I'm Ina Garten. So I am the exact opposite. I think that's the fanciest bag ever. So Are you kidding? Typically, me? I will say typically with a beach bag, I have something similar to you where it's like an over the shoulder, big open thing. But this week in particular, we have been biking to the beach and I, pause for reaction. Us. Biking. Like we bike. Paddle. <laughs> Not an electric bike. We like cross multiple roads. Anyway, um, since I am an expert biker, I cannot, I need both my hands. Mm -hmm. I cannot commit to not having both my hands on the handlebars at all times. You could do one hand. Not right? the entire time. Oh, I think you could. I don't think I could. Um, but so I have actually been using my backpack as my beach bag and it has been lovely because it makes it so I'm hands free. Um, and the, the sand just rolls right off of rolls it. Rolls right off of it. And actually sand just really doesn't get in it because it does zip closed. Uh, it is a Adrian Vitadini, which I got, I think I got it um, Marshalls. Marshalls, the one that closed down at Mondawmin in Baltimore. And I freaking love it. I've been, I use it all of the time. I took it as our one and only bag yesterday when we biked to town into a bookstore. Miles. And we put books. Miles. We put the books that we bought in it and it house, adorable. housewares. Yeah. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, um, but yeah, so that's it. So big pocket, little pocket. There's cell phone pockets in here. Cute. I've been really happy with it. Adorable. Okay. Then I can use my other arms to schlep. Okay. The next item is what I'm wearing on my head, which is this beautiful Amazon fedora that I've had for a couple years. Caitlin has also since purchased one. You need a good hat at the beach and a floppy hat will blow away. This hat looks floppy, but guess what guys and girls? It has an adjustable uh, component on the inside so you can tie it as loose or tight as you want if it's my tiny teeny head and her big old noggin. Mm -hmm. So it's like the sisterhood of the traveling hat. It'll fit anybody. It looks adorable. Look at us, what dirty hair. Not even a thing. Right? Exactly. And then you can just like tuck your hair up in it if you mm -hmm. want to get a little sun on your shoulders mm -hmm. or you keep your hair down and you have sun protection yes. for like your whole little top half. And I like that the brim kind of goes up a little bit because I've had floppy hats that I try to wear a hat oh, and sunglasses and the hat will come down onto the sunglasses and push them off my face. This does not do that at all. I absolutely love it. It's the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. 
yeah, I freaking love it too. And alternately, other than this hat, and I do and I do, do this, which is kind of insane, I pack a good old like trucker hat. Trucker hat. Because some <laughs> it actually looks really stupid with my ponytail on. But because sometimes it is really windy, like if I were to go into the ocean, I still want my face protected. But I would not wear this hat. I wouldn't either, because when that hat gets wet, it's done right. for a little while. Oh, I hate how dumb this looks like with my ponytail. But anyway, so if I'm on the beach and it's really windy, I will probably put on a trucker hat because you can get it really tight to your head. Mm -hmm. And then if I go in the ocean, I will wear this hat to keep my face protected, and then it's just easier. I have a question. Yes. What would you do for sunglasses if you got into the ocean? I would just wear my sunglasses. You're kidding. Nope. I've done it for years. You could be wrecked by a wave. Yep. I mean, I do it, but my sunglasses aren't prescription. Right, no, so mine like, are see you never. $250. Buy money. And they're not even designer, which is so crazy. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, so hats. Hats are a necessity. I'm not gonna show you my bathing suit because it varies. I'm a bit of a bathing suit slut. I have at least 20. I don't know what it is wrong, like what, what's wrong with me. I don't know. I'm in a bathing suit not that many times a year, but no. I love them. However, I only have a couple of beach cover-ups, and this is my most recent one. I'm actually obsessed with it. It has sleeves, it ties in the front with this little, uh, you know, where is it? Tassel. Where did it go? Where did it, go though? it ties at the waist. It ties at the waist. Uh, it does have slits cut up the, like, along your hip line, so that when you're walking, it just moves with you. It's great. Nice. Uh, I, I like the color. It protects me from the sun when I need it to, but it also gives me a little bit of ass coverage when I don't want to wear full clothes to the beach, but I also don't want to traipse around in just my bathing suit because that makes me want to fucking die. Um, this it does everything that I want it to, and it was actually on sale at Loft. I think they still have it. If they do, I'll link it, but a beach cover-up of some sort. Yes, so I typically am a full dress beach cover-upper. Um, and then I just, I wear it to the beach and then I take it off when I'm at the beach. Right. But this week, since I got, I burnt the shit out of my back on the second day. So I have still wanted to get a tan everywhere else except my back. So I actually, similar to Danielle, have been wearing like an open kimono. Yeah. This uh, lovely specimen is from Target. I still can't believe that's Target. It was actually a... Um, impulse purchase because I went to DC to visit a friend and then we decided to go to the pool and I didn't have a bathing suit or a cover up. Um, so it's got cute little fringe on the end. It's got the open sleeves. So, I mean, it's honestly like wearing a scarf, right? right. It just happens to be stitched a little bit. It smells um, nice. Well, it smells like beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so this is not the one that I wear all the time, but I have been wearing it all this week and I've been really loving it because it's super lightweight. Absolutely. It's even lighter than most of my cover ups. Next. Always, always, always have a book with me. Yes. So do you. Uh, this is just what I happen to be reading right now. This is called First Frost, a novel. You would think, bitch, you're at the beach, you're reading about frost. But it's, it was set in a North Carolina town, which is where we are. And the description at the bookstore yesterday said, enchanting something beach romance with a touch of magic, which touch of magic really got her. Hello. And by really got her, I mean really got me too, because this is the same author, Sarah Addison Allen, the sugar queen. Yeah, so this is the one that I'm gonna be starting today because I just finished a book this morning. Um, oh, she's from Asheville. I'm excited. We're gonna is love she? her. We're gonna love her. I already know it, Sarah. This says, bewitching, a candy jar of magical characters and mystical adventures. Words such as sweet, charming, and delightful are weak accolades for such a pleasurable book. So I did look her up and she's known for writing these beautifully bewitching. Well, just like, I don't know how to explain. Enchanting, I guess. Enchanting novels that are gonna kind of give us the vibes of, you know, that, what's her name? Um, Gilmore Girls, but what was that book? Southern. What? What was that book from Vermont? It's gonna give me oh, those vibes. Oh, Country Baker. Yeah, Country Baker's Guide to City Living. Louise Miller, something. Anyhow, that's why I got it. It's gonna be this, but it's gonna be that, but at the beach. Southern. Because she's already started making candy, okay? I'm very excited for it. Oh, I'm excited too. Yeah. But oh, yeah, is that so the sugar queen? Yeah. I wonder if she's a candy maker. I mean, they literally, yeah. Okay, I mean, sunscreen. Duh. Uh, I know I told you I got burnt, but I have been wearing sunscreen. It just so happens I didn't that moment. We actually use the same sunscreen. It's Danielle. I was influenced by Danielle because it is perfection. It is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless. Someone's Lotion gonna tell sunscreen. us that we're killing the reefs, and you're not wrong. 
but my skin is so sensitive and this is the only thing that I found that works. And also, I mean, I'm gonna say I don't get in the water, but also, and I, cause I know it just goes down the drain in the shower. Yeah, someone commented that. Listen, it's sh shit's hard out here. Let me just use the sunscreen I like. I don't use plastic straws. No, and I will also, if I were to go to an actual reef, I would buy reef safe sunscreen. Mm -hmm. But at the for now, this is as good as it's gonna get. Excellent. Absolutely. The other one, um, I do ha am really specific about what goes on my face, and so mm -hmm. I use the Amore Pacific Resort Collection Sun Protection Mist SPF 30 sunscreen. This is the only facial sunscreen that I've ever used that I want to put it on. I do not avoid it. I do not delay. I spritz it on and I'm happy. Wow, that sounds like a commercial. Thanks. Um, I do not delay. I do not delay. Like It just makes it really easy to be really good to my skin, which I appreciate because I hate sunscreen. So, yeah. My facial sunscreens, I kind of navigate between two. I have the Kula full spectrum 360 degrees sun silk drops. You've probably heard me talk about these before. My esthetician recommended them. They are reef safe, uh, but they're, it's like a serum sunscreen. You can't even feel that you've put it on. It does not break my skin out and it actually does give me full sun production. Oh, yeah, and it smells great. It doesn't mm. smell like, it doesn't smell like coconut Hawaiian tropic. It smells a little sunscreeny, but it goes away. I think it smells a little bit it's like It's so diapers. thin and wonderful, you're gonna love it. And then the other sunscreen that I like for my face, actually, I'm so excited that, I'm so excited that we have a plastic surgeon that sells in SkinCeuticals because- God, we're jerks. I used to use the Physical Fusion UV Defense sunscreen, but I remember paying so much more for it several years ago, and they sold it for 35 bucks. And it's a very liquidy, mm -hmm. you can hear the little ball in there shaking around, serum-like sunscreen that has SPF 50. This does have a little bit of a tint, but it does not cover anything. Like, it has a tint, but you can't even, like, you can't even tell. Yeah. Um, and again, very thin and lightweight, doesn't break me out, doesn't have an odor at all. Well, I will say, Scentless. if you have a darker skin tone, it probably will leave a cast. A white cast. Yeah. But it's like already dry, you can't even tell. I think that these are both really great sunscreens for your face. We both have very sensitive skin, and um, I, would, I would recommend both, all three actually. While we're not gonna talk about beverages because it's a whole nother video, we are gonna talk about the ways that you transport your beverages. Okay. So for, oh, there he is again. So for one, I'm one of those people that needs to have something to drink around me at all times or I feel like I'm going to die. Die. Yeah, kind of. So like if I get, if you I might get thirst to death. Even if I drive to work, it's 20 minutes. I literally just drink water at home and I know that I have water at work. I have to have water in my car. Really? Even if I never touch it. So I have my very big swell bottle. This swell has had beer, wine, liquor, and water in it. So I always, yeah. So I have this for the beach mm -hmm. because I don't want to get dehydrated. I did not bring mine this time. I normally use my cork sickle, Shocking. which is basically the same thing. Whatever happened to your um, swell? I have it. Oh, you do? Yeah. You just stop using it. You prefer I, your cork well, sickle. I use it for wine. The next one we have is like a transportable wine tumbler with a lid. Mine does have a sliding component so you can completely close it off and it has a space for a straw. So mine has a whole, it came with a metal straw. It does not close. This was actually a gift I was given like last week, but I found myself reaching for it so many times. Mm -hmm. I've seen these in stores for a long time and thought, when would I ever use that? When wouldn't you use it? But I will say it's been great because it's double walled stainless steel. So it keeps things colder for longer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I'm really thankful. Thanks, Jeanette, yeah. if you ever watched this. And mine is from the brand Swig, which I've definitely seen in places. I actually bought this in North Carolina a few months ago, and it holds a very considerable amount of beverage. Which yeah, I think is yours, shocking. Is, yours is bigger than mine. I think, I think. It's, it holds 16 ounces. But I love it. I love it so much. Um, the, my favorite part about mine is not only its size and this beautiful, like, white diamond fleck. Do you want to try and get in there? Maybe. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. I think you can. The reef, oh yeah. It's like pearlescent almost. Yeah. Uh, but the best part is that it has a rubber or silicone bottom, so it doesn't tip over if you just barely knock it. It grips to the surface that it's on. Mm -hmm. And it's just been great. And it comes with this reusable straw. A win-win all around. 10 out of 10. I don't like my hair in my face when I'm at the beach. I have to have a way to keep it off my face, either in the hat or a trucker hat, or I use a claw clip, an Invisibobble, or most recently, headbands. 
I'm like 12 again. Uh, and these are both from Amazon. I do not think that it is wise for me to spend an exorbitant amount of money on a headband. Yeah. Uh, when Amazon can sell, sell me three of these in different colors for $13 and four leopard headbands for $12. Mm -hmm. uh, so I actually gave Caitlin a couple and- They're in your collection, by the way. Okay, I, just threw I them saw in that. Basket. But these do a really great job of keeping my hair off of my face and I have short enough hair that sometimes it doesn't even reach my mouth to get into my lip balm or anything. Mm. So if I just keep it off my face, I just feel better. Uh, and they kind of go with the swimsuits that I brought. So I'm like trying to tie a whole thing I together. I my headbands to my swimsuits. Right. Wow, that man has nowhere better to be. Well, you know, he's probably retired. Probably. So you see me talk about these before. Every time I've done a what's in my bag, it is the same because my glasses are prescription. So unfortunately I get one pair and that is the pair I wear every day all year. So you better fucking love they them. they are expensive. I know, I just got a new pair. I, I fucking love them when they come. But these are the Warby Parker Barker, Barkley Large. Um, I like it that they're named after Danielle's dog and also our good friend Irv. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so they're just like, a, they're technically brown. They're technically tortoise shell, mm -hmm. but I think they read black quite a bit of the time. Um, but they're just a workhorse sunglass, and this is how you can tell how thick my prescription would normally be. I know, that's insane. Isn't it? Yes. Wow. You blind as a bat. It's awful. I'm a plus 5.75. My Yay. sunglasses are cheap, okay? I am a loser of things. I lose sunglasses. It's like they run away from me. Like, no, I don't want to be paired up with this bitch. And so they run away, and I have probably 10 pairs that I just circulate through. I don't pay more than 10 or $15 for any of them. If I can find a free pair like the ones your dad found, I'm taking them. Yeah, because I, I'm so bad with them. I will say, when I wore cheap sunglasses, AKA in middle school, I had tons of them, and I would lose them, scratch them, damage them all the time. And then once I started getting prescription, yeah, when you have to pay for them, they come off my face and immediately go in the case, mm -hmm. and then they come out of the case and go on my face, and I do not. I know. You're really good at it. I have to be. Right, I don't give a shit. I've had these for probably three years, which is honestly shocking. We've just had a really good relationship together and they do a really nice job of blocking out the sun and I can smile really big with my big fat cheeks and it doesn't touch the sunglass. Oh, that is That's nice. That's important to me. You could, you, could you see my cheek smears on the Barclays? No. Yeah, you can but actually, I believe it. you can see where my cheeks touch them. Yeah, so that, that's that. Okay, and then uh, our business cards and all of our monies and IDs. It's in my beach bag. That's terrifying. Lip protection. I use SPF on my face and my body and on my lips. And my favorite way to do that is with these sugar fresh lip balm, tinted lip balms. This is the shade Tulip. It's great for many reasons. Not only does it have SPF 15, but it comes in a twist container so the sand can never penetrate and ruin your precious lip balm. It gives a little bit of tint. Uh, it does give some protection. It's very silky smooth and it's just easy to whack it on. I never leave home without one of the fresh lip balms. So the ones I have in my bags actually don't have SPF in them. But these are the three, when I think about beach lips, these are the three that I <sighs> would wear. Beach lips. I would never wear like a true, full on, like a matte lip. Right. Okay, I'm not gonna say never. You were wearing this the other day. Yeah. The other thing that I would probably, I'm looking for moisture and maybe like a sheer tint. So the two that I would pick for that, are the um, YSL Volup Shine. Oh, they never tell you the color. I hate that. Anyway, it's the one I talked about recently in another video. <laughs> we'll list it down below because we will look up what it is. Clarins Jolie Rouge Brilliant in the shade Roseberry. Again, it's, it's just like a really sheer, it looks like a real lipstick and then when you put it on, it shears out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. And then the last one is also Clarins. They hit me with Nordstrom sale. It is the Clarins Natural Lip Perfector, and this is almost more like a gloss, mm -hmm. but it's um, got a little bit more of a balmy texture, mm -hmm. which I like. But yeah, so this would just add hydration, which is super important for me at the beach, uh, but no SPF protection. But I will say, I almost never don't have my face covered. Okay, so you've been at the beach all day. You Even if you don't have a sunburn, you just feel a little bit hot. Mm -hmm. Again, with the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless, this is the Coconut Papaya Moisturization After Sun Lotion. Crucial. Similarly, Caitlin's mom bought us something. That, that, oh, it smells like Roland Body Glitter from when I was a kid, from Claire's. Oh. So, um, alternately, which I also did try and I liked, it's the Mary Kay Sun Care After Sun Replenishing Gel. I bet you the ingredients are basically the This same. ultralight cool blue gel contains soothing botanical extracts. But anyway. Anyhow. This is smell like I can't remember. It's just nice to have something 
<laughs> to slather on your body after a day in the sun. I will say this one smells like you would think a Mary Kay product smells. Like it smells like it's for a lady. Yes, a mature woman. Yes. The only other thing that I have left are Invisibobbles. Mm -hmm. Invisibobbles are, are my favorite invention of like, two, when did they come 2000s. out? 2000s. Like, the, the 2010s. Yeah. Because I love them. I find that I don't really lose them as much. I misplace Same. them, but they reappear in I a know. way that like hair ties never did. It's weird. I'm like, oh, look, an Invisibobble. Same, and when I see it, I'm like, wow, that's $5. I don't know, I always think of it that way. <gasps> oh, I don't. Well, some of mine are knockoffs and some of them are invisible, yeah. so I really don't know how much they cost. But tell yourself it's five bucks, it's like finding five dollars. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I always have my phone with me if I'm playing music. Actually, that's the thing I don't have in here because it's back there on the counter. Oh, I have uh, my speaker. I have my phone with me. I usually yeah. bring my JBL Charge 3 to the beach because it's waterproof, sandproof, puts off really good sound, need my phone to play the music, but always hide your phone away because mm -hmm. It gets hot and overheats. Yes. I would say the same thing about your footwear on the beach. Mm -hmm. Hide it under your towel or under your chair so that when you go to put them on, they're not like scalding hot, burning your feet. I do not wear flip flops. And so this is my this is my one pair of flip flops that I own and they are Javianas. I've repurchased multiple pairs. They are my favorite. I think part of it is that they're textured on the footbed. So they make it so your foot doesn't slide around. Mm -hmm. These are at least four years old. Good job. And like, I mean, look at the bottom. Oh, they're about done. You can tell that I- You're gonna be busting through. Yeah. But so like I have worn these to death, but from the top, they look, no. they look never worn. Like if you were to look the, at them in the store with a tag on them, you would think that they were brand new. And I would have just tricked you because they're hella old. They hold up super well. Um, highly recommend. I'm My beach cruising. shoe is a Birkenstock sandal. I didn't bring it up here, but that's what I wear. I also keep a wet brush in my bag in case I do get into the ocean. I wanna brush out the shit and let my hair dry really beachy cute. And then the last item is very recent for me. It's my AirPods. How fancy is she? I'm pretty fancy. I don't wanna have like a cord around my neck, but also, you know what I was thinking? What if you lost one on the beach? Be gone forever. 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 I really think cords are the way to go on the beach. Look. It's I know. Magnetized. I know. It even magnetizes going in the hole. Believe me, I totally get try it. it. Try it. Just try it. Yeah. So oh. that's it. That's our cue to go. I hear the garage door open. I hear the garage. They're here. Um, so those are all of the things that we take to the beach. We'd love to know if there's anything that you think we're missing. Oh, towels. We weren't showing you uh, towels, but we obviously took towels and chairs. Towels and chairs. And a, and a cooler, you know. Yeah. Like Look. in our beach bag. Lots of drinks. Uh, what's on your mouth? I am wearing just a lip gloss. I'm wearing Bare Minerals Snarky Gloss. I have two things on technically. Uh, one is the Charlotte Tilbury Blushing Dream, and then one is the Clarins that I referred to earlier, which is the Jolie Rouge in the shade Roseberry. There, I layered them because I just felt like it. But yeah. So as always, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you have notifications turned on. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Go ahead and watch our last video. Watch our next video. Just watch all the videos. You love it, we love it. Hit us up in the comments. You know we're always trying to chat you up down there. And someone's breaking in the house. If you made it all the way to the end, I want you to comment down below what your favorite beach is. Yeah, where's your favorite place to go to the beach? We would love to know. And we would also love to congratulate you for making it to the end of the video. Yes. Because they're long and we know. But also like thank you for making it to the end of the video. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wanna thank you personally, so I'll know when you come at your beach. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for Bye. watching. Bye.